Hey breezers, how are you guys? We have a foo a foo a few foodie booty compute booty. I can't talk today. We have some community post updates from Foodie Beauty, okay? <laughs> The first one is from seven hours ago. It is edited, let's see, 216 likes, 397 comments. And it reads, Liar Lynn basically saying her therapist advised her to apologize to someone she insulted months ago who has no irrelevance on your life. Oh, and did your therapist also advise you to add that you found beige and gray entertaining? JFC, I'm moving to another planet. Bye. All right, let's see what this screenshot says. Oops. Okay, it looks like she was in... Was she in Nader's chat? It reads, my subs call me a narc too. I shouldn't have said that, so I apologize. I do love Chantal, but I also find you and D to be entertaining. It's her because it has a check mark. And then Chantal wrote, is that you, the F? And then I guess Amberlyn replied back, I had an appointment with my psychologist today, and I had an emotional breakdown about the bullying I am dealing with lately and the constant harassment. My psychologist told me that I need to apologize to him because I was getting death threats from some weird person on Instagram about calling him. Oh, wait. And then it says, Chantel, why can't I choose my mental health? I felt like I needed to apologize because I'm not the type of person to do something like that. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and read these comments. Tommy Jarvis said, this must be devastating. You both were so close. I mean, who doesn't remember when you shamed Amberlynn for using a scooter in Walmart? Good times. Cherry Lolly said, LOL, what? Why would a therapist advise ALR to apologize to someone who's literally stabbed two people for calling him a narc? These people are messy AF and I'm here for it. ED said, oh, how shocking. How is it possible? Your friendship was born out of such a deep and loyal feeling for each other. Literally, no one ever thought you secretly still hated each other. <laughs> Stabby fil Filter said, Rich for you to be raging about loyalty. Where was your loyalty when this man was threatening your best friend from childhood, Shannon? When he was trying to ruin her marriage and destroy her life because she didn't agree with how he treated you. You dropped her like a cold bag of sick loyalty means nothing to you. Let's continue the game. Where was your loyalty to your other best friend, Pete's? When Nader insulted him over and over and encouraged you to end your 20-year friendship because he was jealous you used to date? What about when his cat died and you ran to Nader's the same day? A man who hates Pete's. What about you being ecstatic to drive Nader anywhere, even to his other girlfriend, even after you cl claimed he essayed you, yet driving Pete's to his elderly mother you cannot do? You have no right to be angry about loyalty. I really like this comment, so we're giving it a thumbs up. Keepster said, it's literally all coming back to you. Remember when you lied about therapy sessions? Remember when you'd tell people you were getting help but clearly never followed through? Remember when you'd use excuses my therapist said knowing you only ever did a consultation? Doesn't feel good coming back, does it? It doesn't. I'm going to like that comment. Amanda said, I feel like a three-way jello fight between you, Hamber and Dudu, would settle this. Uh-oh. No, I don't want to see that. No, thank you. I didn't ask for that. Robin said, you know, about, you know as much about loyalty as you do honesty. I'm liking that comment. Um, Melissa said, funny how these therapists never suggest getting off social media, right? Funny how that's never, that never comes up. Interesting. And B said, loving this for both of you. Halloweeny Badusi said, didn't you cheat on every partner you've ever had? Didn't you ignore your dying grandmother and friends to be with Nader? You shouldn't speak about loyalty. Caliber said, you know you're hated by everyone when ALR does you dirtier than the homeless guy did. What? Two-bedded goat said, is there anyone you don't eventually turn on and violate their privacy in a childish rage? No, there's no one. There's no one. Uh, not mates yet said, in all seriousness, I would pay top dollar to see you in Amberlynn Street fight. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. Oops, hold on. Uh, retired from Reborn Artistry said, you're not the type of person to call someone a narc, right? You're the type of person who supports a, an artist. I, don't, I can't say the word on here. You aren't his only victim. I've been in contact with another who I find extremely trustworthy as I've seen evidence from her about it. Beach said, nah, I'm calling fake on this storyline, LMAO. Girl just asked to be a part of the foodie verse because she's in desperate need of a check. 
Uh, Wolf Song said, Chantal found a good way to keep people from saying negative things about her. Freya said, good to see someone who is actually seeing a therapist and getting help. True. Flopper said, the Amberlynn rivalry arc, we didn't know we needed. <laughs> Soph said, you are the company you keep, Chantal. So true. I'm liking that comment. Carmen said, don't worry, Chantal and Didi. Ain't no way she's flying from Cl Kentucky to take your van. <laughs> uh, Chantal and Didi, I think you're safe. Um, good vibe said, people can apologize, find entertaining and support slash watch anyone they want. It's none of your business to interfere. True. Margaret Phillips said, I'm hoping and praying Becky gets the courage to stand up for herself and lay out all the receipts of how ALR really treated her when the cameras were off. If this is how she behaves on live streams, knowing the camera is on, just imagine what she does when the camera is off. Ooh. Too tired to care. I love that name. <laughs> You're mad at ALR for apologizing to Koki, but yet you continue to date Koki after he threatened to beat up your best friend. Loyalty? Oh, Al left a comment. Al said, LMAO, guess ALR... L <laughs> Let me try that again. LMAO, I guess ALR really is desperate to try and get her train wreck crown back. Amber and Chantel beefing again? The nostalgia of it all. <laughs> Chantel's rages, uh, laughing emojis. ALR is a liar. Again, her therapist would not tell her to apologize to a complete stranger who she'll never meet in real life. She's a drama queen and looking to get back her crown. That's effed up. Anna said, how convenient for ALR to have an emotional breakdown when she gets confronted for her lies. I doubt people sent her threats over designator. Yeah, I just don't see that happening. But I mean, I guess anything's possible. Uh, Katie Cat twenty two said, "So this is what you and her are going to are doing to garner views? Great! I can't wait for this part of the series." Uh, Scream today said, "Bold of you to talk about loyalty." LOL. Look at what you did when your grandmother passed away. Look at what you did when Pete's cat passed away. You're the last person to talk about loyalty. LOL. The karma is coming in hot, and I love that for you. Um, wicked waffle witch said ALR is a queen, which is one dumb, but calculated message. She inserted herself into the drama. Bravo. All right, let's scroll up a bit. You guys can read some of these at your own convenience. Oh, wait, hold on. Watching Nader's stream, I see. So much for day one, Grandma Spud said. Yeah, so much for day one. Um, let's see. Anna Rose said, why can't I just choose my mental health? Way to go, Gaslighter Lynn. Skinny Mini said, Amberlynn inserting herself into something like this is so ignorant. She needs to keep to her ice tray hauls. Okay, scrolling up a little bit more. No one said, 38 years of age, don't always act like a child when you get hurt. Friendly advice. Jules Baby Rock said, OMFG, this is absolutely hilarious. It's unbelievable to me. Like, is this real? <laughs> is this real life? Okay, scrolling up a bit some more so you guys can read some of these comments. Go ahead and pause. We got to get to the other community posts. So let me scroll up a bit more. I want to make sure you can read them. Okay. A worm sheriff is unblocked. They said ALR running to her emotional support cup a noodle. Oh, no. Uh, Chicken Squib said, you're not wrong. This is definitely not good or sound clinical advice. The problem sometimes is people use good counsel as a weapon. However, this isn't going to win you brownie points. People are still mad at your behavior. Okay, let's go to the next community post. Uh, 22 minutes ago, still no Wi-Fi. Ugh. Anyways, watching a marmot lick a man. I'll go live in a bit, XO. She shared a video. It looks like hiker seeing a marmot approaching him and freezes. He will never forget what happens. Okay, well, we don't really need to read the comments on that. It looks adorable. What on earth did we just scroll up to? Okay, five minutes ago she posted, I'm so over being judged by these types of people. These weirdos are obsessed. Ew, go away, F. Brides of Frankensteins. Rude. Did she take off Dee Dee's nose? What is that supposed to be? All right, let's go ahead and read a few of these comments. Dingle Donger said, So why is it okay for you to diss how people look? But the minute someone does it to you, you rage and screech like an actual animal. Make it make sense. Cook said, you're not one that should be talking about looks, Sasquatch. 
uh, smorgasbord said, ma'am, you're literally built like King Kong Bundy. Okay, well, I get the point here. Um, Evie Madge said, well, you're an expert when it comes to obsession. Bunny Angel said, so going after people's looks and calling them weirdos, really, Chantel? Do you own a mirror and have you seen yourself? Stop being so rude and childish. Suzanne said, and you? You definitely resemble an actual monster. Uh, Elizabeth Bennett said, so it all comes down to looks. If someone is conveniently attractive in your eyes, then they can judge you. Such weird logic. You lose both ways, Chantal. You are ugly on the outside, but even more importantly, you are ugly on the inside. Uh, Jeanette said, do you own a full-length mirror? You're in no place to judge others on how they look. Uh, Hanny asked, what collage app did you use for this? All right, going to scroll up so you guys can pause and read some of these at your own convenience. The colorful gecko said, oh, they're obsessed with you, not the other way around. Right. Um, okay. Rosewater said, buy a mirror. Safety off said, nothing but negative energy here anymore. I completely agree. You don't, like, you don't go to Foodie's channel for a good time or to know it's going to lift your spirits. Like, you go and it's usually some sort of drama. It's always negative now. Ugh, it's just an emotional roller coaster for the most part. It's, it's nothing but negative energy. All right, let's see. Uh, Painted Lady Abby said, it's kind of yikes, but you really should just leave the subject be. If you can move the heck on, Chantel, this wouldn't bother you. Try for once to be above it or ignore it. I don't think she can. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we have another one. From three minutes ago, it reads, sometimes I love you guys. I have an important, <laughs> oh, she's, it's, it's written out how Amberlynn talks, but I can't say it for some reason. I have important advice to give you for your mental health. 12 likes, it says two comments, but there's more. Okay, so she said, you all deserve each other. You really do. All peas in a pod. I'm liking that comment. It's true. Moon and Stars said, this is teenage behavior at school. So childish to behave like this when you disagree with somebody. Amberlynn can talk to whoever she wants. You do not own people. Let's try to pretend Nader's channel is not under yours again. Uh, Jacqueline said, I can't wait to see Amber's reaction to this in three weeks when she uploads it. <laughs> A uh, stabby filter said, you and ALR must go to the same therapist. <laughs> Electro Blood said, she apologized to an actual abuser before apologizing to the ex who wiped her butt for three years. Ooh. Suzanne Sylvia said, waking up each day and raging to a bunch of strangers on the internet because you can't even control yourself is certainly not good for your mental health. No, it can't be. I'm liking that. Atlanta Dessert said, imagine insulting someone else for seeking therapy. I know, imagine, I'm liking that too. Smorgasbord said, one in the chat, if you'd rather be locked down with Flobby Bobby for a weekend, this includes sharing one bathroom, or a two in the chat for Hambler. Is there a three for none of the above? Because none of the above. <laughs> uh, Isabel said, just drop all the tea, please. The show said, can you become a roasting Amber Lynn channel? It would boost your views sky high. You could even use the Beezer channel for it. Julie said, that's funny. Not going to lie. Uh, Skippy said, bullying. Is that who said bully? I can't say it. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, I'm scrolling up so you can read some of these comments at your own convenience. Um, Keepster said, you are the biggest hypocrite. You have no place making mental health slash therapist jokes. Uh, safety off said, girl, be the better person. And Jessica said, I have no idea how Amberlynn made me team Chantel, but here we are. <laughs> All right, let's double check and see if we have any more community posts. We don't. All right, you guys, I will see you soon if she goes live again. I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. Have a fun and safe weekend. Make good choices. Be kind. And I will see you so soon. Bye, you guys.